Abigail Nelson is from Northrop High School. She is a two-sport athlete, four years in, on both the gymnastics team and the track team. Isabel will attend the University of Indianapolis this fall. Isabel was nominated for the hard work she puts in both inside and outside of the classroom. She leads by example and goes the extra mile for herself and her teammates. Our next athlete is Lindsay Trin. Lindsay is a four-year soccer player and also a four-year member of our Biomed program. I've had her in class for two years in Biomed. Lindsay is just a doll. Every time she comes into a room, she lights up the room. Uh, there isn't one person in our school that wouldn't say that they like Lindsay Trent. She is absolutely amazing. Every teacher likes her, every staff member likes her. She has a bubbly personality. She's a great, great person. She's gonna do great things after she leaves Snyder High School. Elizabeth Martinez is a four-year varsity soccer player for Northside High School with a GPA of 3.9. She has high aspirations of becoming an EMT, an RN, and eventually becoming a family doctor. It is her goal to have the full experience of helping people as much as she can in a variety of ways. Elizabeth has played varsity soccer all four years at Northside, and her sophomore year she was named the team's MVP. Her junior and senior seasons, she was also named captain and earned the Most Diverse Player Award. Jonathan Brito is from Northrop High School. He is a two-sport athlete. He is a four-year member of the Bruins soccer team and one year on the swim team. Jonathan was also a member of the academic team and National Honor Society. He was nominated for his ability to always lead by example. Jonathan always has a caring nature that is apparent in everything that he does. Michaela Cottle is a volleyball player and a basketball player at Southside High School. She is uh, one of the first athletes I actually ever met here at Southside, coming to me in the very beginning of her season saying, hey, I get injured a lot, so you're going to see me a lot. One of the things that impressed me most about Michaela was that she was a leader on the volleyball team as a starter and a captain. Then I saw her lead in a completely different way as she played basketball coming off the bench. She was always putting in the effort needed for what was asked of her. Her ability to display leadership in both of those environments tells me that she will be successful at whatever she chooses to do at the next level. Damon Marlowe is a two-sport athlete at New Tech Academy at Wayne High School. He has earned a total of five varsity letters, three in basketball and two in football. Outside of athletics, Damon has participated in student government, National Honor Society, and is a student mentor for underclassmen at New Tech Academy. Nicolina Meyer, she's a blanket award winner for Snyder. She has participated in three sports for four years, and those sports would be cheerleading, winter and fall, uh, swimming, and track. She's an excellent student. She's been a four-year member of the Biomed program. She is one of the hardest working kids we have in our senior class. I've had her in class for two years in Biomed, and I've enjoyed every minute of being with Nicolina. She's a great kid. Noah Kilby is from Northrop High School. He's a two-sport athlete. He was a member of the Bruin wrestling team for three years, and also a member of the Bruin soccer team for three years. Noah has a 3.9 GPA this year and will be attending Indiana University this fall. Noah was also a member of the National Honor Society and Bruin Buddies. Noah was nominated because of his ability to motivate others. He is a leader both inside and outside of the classroom. Olivia Vossmeyer is a three-sport athlete at Southside High School playing soccer, gymnastics, and tennis. She was a captain for her tennis team. She was also voted MVP of her gymnastics squad. And all while doing that impressive uh, feat, she maintains a 4.0 GPA. Her work ethic, I think, puts her in a class uh, all her own. As she is a focused and driven individual, I have no doubt that uh, she will make goals and achieve them both personally and professionally. Eric Vasquez is a four-year soccer player for Northside High School with a GPA of 3.4, and he plans on attending IPFW in the fall. While at IPFW, he intends on studying computer science, ultimately obtaining a career as a programmer or a software developer. Eric played soccer for four years at Northside, two years on the JV team, and two years on the varsity team. He has played as a defender, but found his true place was in the goal as a keeper. When talking about his soccer career, Eric has said, it was fun playing with everyone and feeling like I was a part of the team and making plenty of new friends. Tamia Martin is a six-time varsity letter winner at New Tech Academy at Wayne High School. She has earned six letters, three in volleyball, one in softball, one in basketball, and one in tennis. 
This past volleyball season, she was nominated as team captain. Outside of athletics, Tamia is involved in her community. She has participated in the Great American Cleanup and the City Life programs. Patty Geraldo is from Northrop High School. She is a two-sport athlete in cross country and track for the Bruins. Patty had a 3.9 GPA this year and she will attend Rose Holman this fall and will participate in both track and cross country this fall. Patty was nominated for her natural leadership ability. She always leads by example by wanting to be the hardest worker and is constantly pushing and cheering on her teammates to be the best they can be. Paul Boozman is a four-year soccer and football player for Snyder High School. He's one of the top students in the school. He has an amazing sense of humor. I don't think that there's a single football game that I walked away without laughing. He's going to continue his career over at the University of Indianapolis. He's been an amazing athlete. He's gotten um, all conference in both sports, soccer and football at his time here, and he will be missed horribly.